searching for players, and I guarantee you these are not bots. They're real people. You just saw some of them. One of them, anyway. All right, cool. Um, so I don't know who else would have been changed. It's just kind of hit or miss. Like, maybe some Kel'Thas changes again? No, no. No, it's all the same. Looks normal, looks normal. What about Nazebo? No major overhaul for Nazebo yet from the looks of it. Leoric, nope. Lily doesn't look any different yet. Maybe Rainer. Don't worry, I'm going to pick Alarak again. We've got 46 seconds to check out some things. Wait, Relentless Leader is at four. What the frack? Holy, that's huge. <laughs> what about seven? No change. No change. No change. We've got 20 seconds left. No change. 16. No change. They just moved Relentless Leader to four. That's super legit. Uh, that's pretty much all we've got time for. So let's go to Alarak. And let's just float. Holy, I didn't know that's possible. All right. Cool. Yeah, it's not Relentless anymore, is it? He used to have a Relentless and uh, a pushback at 13. Now it looks like it's only pushback. 13 had something new. Oh, well, we're going to have to check that out next time, guys. 90 seconds is only so much we can check out. So let's, uh, let's just float around a bit. Let's melt some faces. Let us say that for now we have struck a bargain. His voice is cool, isn't it? So we've got the map with the nuclear missiles again. I agree with this decision. Well, I'm glad with that, Alarak. So uh, let's just randomly say we're going to buff... Lightning Five, Surge this time. Four, three, two, one. Well, let's go Applied Force. We're going to do 10% less bonus damage to heroes, only 90, and that's going to be a permanent change. Uh, it's 90 now. But, uh, oh yeah, mid brawl, of course. But I can push people further with telekinesis. And let's see how that works out. It's something you hold down and then you can draw. Whoa! Woohoohoo! Yes! Yes, sir! Oh, baby, baby. So, basically, how telekinesis works, you can push yourself and you can push enemies while holding down W. And it looks like that. And if you right click, you can cancel it. Alright. And so we, we reduce our enemy hero damage by being able to push it further because of it. So basically, we are less effective in, uh, in uh, PvE, but we're more effective against heroes. We are a melee assassin as Alarak. And you can reduce your sadism or increase it for all kinds of trade-offs. So I'm starting to kind of see how this hero works, because at first I was worried it's going to be a little bit like Artanis, you know, no gap closer, uh, no gap closer, no mobility, no stunts. Uh, but he's a melee assassin, he's no Kerrigan. So the way Lightning Surge works, once again, you cast it on someone point and click, and everyone in between also takes damage. That's pretty cool. And now this Q, if you haven't seen Alarak yet, it's a silence, 1.5 second in a small arc. But it's also a silence, which is crazy. It has a small wind-up time, but that is powerful. So I'm starting to see how Alarak works. You can push people somewhere, and then you can get the perfect lightning surge. I've, I've got this warhead, by the way. Maximum is one per hero. It's a one and a half second channel with a range as follows. And then it will do 270, 2750 damage, max 30% health to heroes. That's a bit, a bit of a murky buff, isn't it? 
Well, let's cast that nuke. I'm ready. I agree with this decision. Nuclear launch detected. <laughs> Noise. So it should be said that Lightning Surge also heals you if it hits an enemy hero. Cool. The choice. You want to know what his passive is? I just said it three times already, bro. It's a bonus damage to heroes on anything you do. End of story. That's it. Cool. All right. What what, what do we uh, what do we buff next? I should have pushed them away. Reduces Discord. Uh, Discord strike. Discord strike. Discord strike. Lightning surge range. It's a two second flat cooldown reduction and more cooldown reduction if you miss. If it hits an enemy, reduces the delay. It's rather disagreeable. But if it hits an enemy, you become vulnerable. Jeez. So uh, maybe I should start moving. Increases the range of Discord Strike and also hits in a line perpendicular. Oh wow, look at that! I've got a sword! I've got Sword Guard. Haha! <laughs> nice. Oh, that's really good. I like that. That's a cool prism type of shape as well. Let's see, my attack speed is 1.2. I kind of like the new maps with their objectives. Maybe we get Perma Brawl. Yeah, I like it too. I think Perma Brawl is more of a level thing than a map thing, though. Yeah, it's just like Kylo Ren's sword. That's true. Let's cause lightning surge to slow. We're gonna reduce our sadism by as much as possible, as strange as that may seem. Would W be good on yourself to use as an escape? For sure, man. That would be great. We'll try that next time, okay? Tops up. So I can still only carry one. Yeah, still only one. And it still does the same amount of damage also. I don't want to kill this one with uh, a nuke. I don't want to get dismounted. I just want to go there and nuke him. Nuke him. Nice. All right. We've got only 80% sadism because we're going for utility. Oh, I missed everything. So this time we're going to go Counter-Strike. I agree with this decision. Uh, wait, what, what just... What did I just do? <laughs> Alarak becomes protected in channels for one second, so I must have cancelled it myself. I didn't have time to read it. If an enemy hero attacks Alarak during that time, then and only then, Alarak sends a shockwave forward that deals only 370 damage. That's not a lot, but it is a shockwave. Will be denied no longer. Also in a prism shape, or a triangle, as, not, as arithmetic smart people would say. Does the center of the nuke deal more damage? Um, yes, double damage inside the center ring. So that one didn't work out. 
They didn't attack me, Baby Rage. Do you drop it while you die? Yes, nuclear bombs can be picked up by opponents. And then they can use them. Only because I will it, none shall usurp me. Attack me, <laughs> please. Vengeance is mine. All right, it's time to die. You will do better next time. God, I'm not sure about Counter Strike, guys. Do you notice Vala is only one wave of alt now? Oh, yeah. Launch a wave of Shadow Beast that deals 424 damage and stuns enemies in the target for half a second. Holds two charges. Okay, so there's no more funny, funny second, third, fourth wave miss. So Vala got changes. Oh, and her build is completely different too. Okay, we'll check out Vala after this. She finally got some love. That was horrible. That was really, really horrid. I just got my first proc of my... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> of my heroic and it didn't do anything now keep in mind that when it says 416 damage that gets an 80% buff from my trade okay that's how sadism works 80 oh it's only ability damage it's not auto attack but still so they actually get 700 damage or something right so uh, okay not you know not the very worst in the world ever I suppose he probably shouldn't have mounted in the, in the flame strike. I don't know. 750. 750 damage. And keep in mind, I did reduce my sadism on purpose. Right? I uh, I took sadism debuffs to get utility. So that's fair enough. I could be doing like 800 damage then. Reduce the sadism to increase silence or telekinesis style. Yeah, let's go and increase silence. That seems pretty good. I got proc, but I missed. Let's push ourselves. Oh, I missed. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I need to get out. We need to try and push ourselves once. That seems pretty fun. That can be an engage too. You can just move towards them with telekinesis, like this. So goes the chain. Yeah, we can have builds focused on sadism, where you give up like certain utilities, such as. Uh, oh, that'll do. You can give up utility like the slows that I have, which, by the way, I think are really strong. Like, 70% slow is really good. Ah, accuracy, bro. Accuracy, do you speak it? I'm gonna lightning surge her and I'm gonna have fun doing it. Okay, can we get the boss? So goes the chain of ascension. Ah, never mind. Never mind. Reduces sadism to reduce telekinesis. Sadism damage for in general. Or the range. Let's, let's get the range. That seems fun. So now we can do it from really freaking far. Oh yeah, it's, it's an engage too. Whoops. I forgot about that. You can't push people away if you make the W go through yourself, so you gotta be a little bit more accurate with that. So now my sadism has been successfully reduced to only 60%, and in return, 
I got more push distance from further away. I got a slow on my lightning surge. And I got a longer silence. But we still have to hit those, of course. Warheads collected. Can Alarak mount up, or is that floating effect his only option? Yeah, he can use he can use mounts. I think he can use all the Your tablet mounts, but I'm not sure he can use a horse, which is just fine by me. I played a game two games ago where I, uh, you know, I used something different. Oh, thank you, uh, Zarya. Is this the best healing you can do? Vital wish I had a lighter. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Let's go back for a bit of healing. Is the charge time in W too long? W doesn't have a charge time. You can do it instantly. I'm only doing it so I can aim better. I agree with this decision. Can you cast while, ch while you charge your Q? Oh, let's, let's try that. Charge your Q, huh? The half second delay. Yeah, nice, nice uh, idea, Zorius. You're thinking uh, ahead of the meta. All right, so you charge your Q and then you push them in. Well done, Zorius. We're gonna try and do that right now. All right, wrong timing. Oh, I need to get out of here. Oh. Vala, man. The new Vala. Still mana hungry, as it seems. <laughs> she just got revived and she's out of everything already. Careful, Falstad. Oh, man. The new Vala doesn't take no for an answer. Oh, that's actually a no. That is a no. <laughs> that's. New Vala build doesn't cover everything. Drop three caltrops while vaulting. Caltrops do 91 damage and slow enemies. After spending 180 yeah, seconds and 10 seconds at uh, 10 yeah. stacks of hatred, vault cooldown is reduced by five seconds. All right, pretty cool. There is one nuclear warhead. They have one in possession already. It's a Jay How behind me. Hey, what's up, man? <laughs> As I Thanks for the warning, Aki. All have been He's a friendly giant. My decrees are absolute. Oh, she got a lot of knockback distance. Cleanse and teleport re reduce health. Holy, that is really cool. I want to spend a little bit more time checking those out. So goes the train of the station. <laughs> ah. Cool. Cleanse the teleport. Activate to remove all root slows and damage over time and teleport to the location. Activating last laugh will immediately reduce. <laughs> I mean, I knew it was going to reduce health, but to one seems a little unforgiving. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's, let's... And you can do that every 20 seconds. Last laugh. It's like, ha ha ha, I made it out. Wait a second. A murky just put a banana peel on the floor here. <laughs> and I'm actually not as okay as I thought. That's going to be a great ability on stream. Or... After channeling, Alarak also charges forward, dealing additional damage. And... Wait, this... Music is like crazy, awesome. 
Uh, distance is increased based on the amount of time channeled and issuing a move order. Okay. This will take over your trade button. Oh, wow. Oh, so you can have both. Two heroics. Now I understand what Centauric was talking about. That is cool. So you can have both of your alts. No matter if you start with one, then you can take the other later. Two heroics at level 20. If you got one, you can't upgrade the other. That's how it works. I mean, if you got one, you can't upgrade it. You either get one and then the other, or the other and then the one. Or you get last laugh, which I'm going to try and use. And then finally, activate to permanently reduce your sadism bonus by 4%. And reset the cooldowns of your basics. Wait! Every time you activate it, every 20 seconds, you can remove your sadism bonus. Every time. So, you don't have to use it every 20 seconds, right? Wait, by the way, this is a Warhound, isn't it? Wait. That's a Warhound! I thought they were gone forever. Or wait, does it have a different name? Am I am My I mistaken? No Alright. Let's uh let's use last laugh. So I've got a I've got an advice for future Alorox here. This is grubby from the past, okay? Do not use last laugh to engage. One health, as it turns out, is pretty unforgiving in team fights. Now you can combine that with Medivh, Force of Will to not die but that's a one and a half second lease on life all right let's try to chart let's try to push him in while doing this so that could work if he was not in position we could we could push them in so first you do your w and then you uh set up to cue them let's try that out Oh, <laughs> I was going to try it out, but I just wanted to do the world first, last laugh, engage. <laughs> it could have been pretty cool, but, you know, I guess Twitch chat has the last laugh. We won, guys. <laughs> we won. World first, guys. <laughs> Do as I say, don't do as I uh, as I do. It, it could have been pretty cool. Twenty-two percent plus shield die to a single nuke, uh, because it does bonus damage in the center. So that was like five thousand plus damage. Not bad. So last laugh is something that removes all poison and chain bomb effects, breaks out of all roots and slows, and you can teleport and you can do that every 20 seconds. So that's like more than twice as good as Bolt of the Storm, but it puts you at one health. <laughs> so that's kind of okay if you have tested our shields on you or an allied shields. And it doesn't mean you're going to die instantly, but that's a pretty big... Uh, drawback. Uh, this is our moment. I will break you. We're not playing bots, dude. There's real people here. Take the pain. here we go. By that reckoning, I'm a bot too, because my name is Zarya. Oh, that seems really nice. All right, so that's a pretty cool force wall. We found a purpose for expulsion zone. 